This is a rima tima reaction. It's a formylation of a phenol. So the general scheme is we have phenol going to something a little bit like this. Okay, so we're putting this group in here, and we're going to use sodium hydroxide in water and chloroform, and roughly about probably about sixty degrees, something like that. Obviously, that's going to depend on the phenol you've got. Okay because you need to get it to the right temperature just make sure that's bound there so this is basically a formylation reaction you're also going to get some minor products as well we should always think about this when we're doing organic synthesis what are the other compounds in the reaction mixture at the end and you're also going to get it formulated in the para position there as well okay I like to draw things, uh, benzene rings in the Kekulé structure and as you go through your organic chemistry courses you'll probably find that a bit more useful as well and it just helps to move all the electrons around. We, we do know it exists as a, a, you know, as a circulating loop of electrons uh, but the Kekulé structure really helps especially with reaction mechanisms. So let's get started with the mechanism. The first step um, takes chloroform. Actually, I'm going to draw it like that and put a prot on there because CHCl3. Okay. Sodium hydroxide, which in water will be the hydroxide ion, uh, picks off proton, puts the electrons on this carbon here. And this carbon doesn't quite like that. Doesn't like being negatively charged. So what happens is something strange happens. And I'm sorry, I've not done my electrons in red, which I normally do. You lose that, and that gives you the dichlorocarbene electrons in there like that Cl Cl plus Cl minus okay this is actually only got this carbon here has only got six electrons two there two there and two there that leaves a vacant orbital so this is now an electrophile it will accept electrons from reaction species can pick up sodium hydroxide if it wants to but we're going to play around with this phenol here. So we'll take phenol, just move down a bit. We're going to use this. So let's draw it out again. So just draw it without the double bonds in for a second. So in sodium hydroxide, this is going to get deprotonated pretty quick. We know. Um, from the scheme above it's going to go in the ortho position that's here or the para position and that is really determined by the double bonds um, so there's electrons parallel in here these uh, double bonds have got to move out of the way basically and that's what gives it the uh, chemo selectivity so sorry the regio selectivity um, so what we have here we have an electrophile We've got and we've got an electron rich species. So this is going to act as the nucleophile and the carbene is going to act as the, the carbene. I'll draw it like that. This might be a bit confusing because I'm going to chuck electrons at this in a second, but remember this carbon is electron deficient. I'm going to put a double bond there, double bond there, double bond there. Let's change the colour of my pen. These electrons come in here and then they have to move out of the way 
and they go on there like that. Now then, what happens now with the charges? You've got to be careful with this bit. So we now have that. This one was mopped up with that, so it's turned into water. Okay, so that proton's gone off into water. So we can figure out about that. We've now got our double bond here, like this. We've now got this chlorocarbene. CL. Don't forget there's a proton on there. I've missed that off, but it's very important to put that back in. And that's and we're gonna put that charge back on because it did have electrons. It was electron deficient but it did have electrons and all we've done is put some more electrons so it's got a complementary set now it's got like eight electrons but these haven't got a proton or anything in them. So they need to pick up a proton from somewhere. Well there's plenty of water around and that is not going to last two seconds so we'll just get this charge sorted out to give us our next species which is this okay put that proton in there C H C L C L okay I'm just going to draw um, the next hydroxide in blue because it's a bit crowded around here so I'm just going to draw this one like this because the next step oh by the way we could sort out this uh, ketone uh, but it's just going to be in this form in and out of this form either the phenol in the aromatic ring or it's going to be like this for now so I'll, just, I'll leave it like that for now and then sort it out there too. It's up to you how you want to represent uh, the benzene ring. Okay so the next step is to hydrolyze basically these chlorides off to give us our oxygen. The oxygen comes from this hydroxide. It comes in here like this, attacks, kicks out one chloride and that will give us this what I'll do, I'll, I will sort out that phenol just so you can see what I'm talking about. What I'll do, I'll just do this, add this hydroxide. So that's what's been added. There's a proton, and now there's a chloride there. Actually, what I'm going to do as well is just delete that proton just for now. I will add the proton like this because I'm gonna I'm gonna take that away in a second. But just to show you, if you've got I'll just draw this in red, if you've got hydroxide there, that's gonna tautomerize like that and go back like that. Or pick up a proton and become the phenol to give you um Well, in this case the phenolate okay I'll just I'll move that charge around there so the aromatic rings back okay so you can draw it like that if you want to um, but we're not going to do that for now so just to show you basically they can you can draw that like that so just delete all that back bang, 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 bang. okay Let's see if we can carry on with this now. So we'll just get rid of them. Okay, so what happens now is the hydroxide ion picks off this final one here, picks off that proton. That then comes in here and out pops that last chloride to give us to 
give us that former structure. So we've now got a double bond there and a proton there. Okay, so the double bonds coming from these electrons here going into the carbon oxygen bond, chloride, which is the weaker of the two bonds, and breaks, and you're left with that proton here to give the um, formal group there. And then the last step is going back to. I just put an arrow like that because the last step is just a rearrangement back to the phenol and there you have there's a proton that it's picked up here from water probably And that is the Rima-Tiemann reaction.